When it comes to pension programs, by far most of the ones that we see now are defined contribution. So by that we mean whether it's a defined contribution pension program or something like a registered retirement savings plan is also a defined contribution pension program. DB still, as of today, represents the majority of pension assets, largely because there's these large organizations, these grandfathered assets that are still under management. And when you have a large block of assets that are continuing to grow, it's going to take a while before the DC assets will get to a point that they're more, you know, as a total, larger than, than the DB assets. That being said, all new pension programs, um, I'd say a large percentage, and that is well in the 90s, are some form of defined contribution. A large reason for more of a defined contribution program is it's really since, call it 2008, 2009 recession, where um, when you had a DB program and the employer was responsible for that risk. So very quickly the way that works is in a DB program, the employer is responsible for meeting the promise that they've committed and it's up to them to save properly to, to meet that promise. A DC program defined contribution as the name suggests, the owner contributes a certain amount which is defined. The payout at time of termination is determined by the employee on how they uh, invested their money and you know, how savvy they were or you know, where they put their funds. So if the, so the risk now is on the employee as opposed to the employer. So since the recession where a lot of employers were unable to meet the liabilities and the promises that they had, any new employer, any new program with an employer is a DC because they don't want to take on the responsibility in case something were to happen in the market. You know, it's a risk that the employee takes now as opposed to the employer.